What's up? In this video, I'm going to illustrate that the universe had a beginning, or at least my reasons on why I believe it. The reason I'm going to do this is if there was a beginning, we could assume it had a creator. In fact, that's actually a paraphrase of something Stephen Hawking once said. There's a beginning paradox you have to get around that says, um, where did the universe come from if there was a beginning? What created the universe? What, what, what made the universe begin? And the answer would be God. And then you would say, what made God begin? And you'd say, uh, uh, uh I don't know. And, and then you'd, you'd be uh, like, God always was. And then they'd be like, well then, there, there, there was no. Uh, the, you can't really say there, there was a, a beginning, was there? Because God, God always, always was. And, be, and you'd be like, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. And then they, they'd be like, um, so, so what caused God? How can he like always, always be? Doesn't something have to cause him? I mean, everything else like was, was caused or, or created by something. So didn't something have to? create God, I mean, how does that make sense? He just always was. And then you go, well, you see, because... And then you grab your Bible and you beat them with it until they die, until they bleed. Ugh. 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 Just perpetuating the Christian ignorance and religious ignorance that, that so plagues the theistic community so excellent job for uh an excellent job you would then then do by proving you're an ignorant bastard and bring us all down with you so other than this video being a case for the universe be having a beginning it's also an excellent how-to guide to uh not go to prison for aggravated as felony assault with with a bible so so you won't believe this but you can use this thing that thing you thought that satan made up science you can use science to 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 make a case for a uh, beginning of the universe check this out so the universe having a beginning is only really a paradox if time is separate from the universe if time is the same as the universe then the universe wouldn't really begin because begin is a concept that is inexorably linked to time. But if the universe and time are linked, such as in space-time, which sort of has to do with the theory of relativity, then there's no beginning because that is on a scale of time, which did not exist until the universe existed. Therefore, before is an irrelevant term. So then they're all like, but scientists have proven that energy and matter alike cannot be destroyed, therefore it probably had to always exist, since it can't, we can't make it not exist, we must assume also that it always existed. And then you either, you either uh, remind them that science is evil and created by the devil, or you use that science to say this. Before the Big Bang, before it, the Big Bang banged, um, everything was crunched into a tiny little morsel of university goodness. Delicious. Now, Einstein's theory of relativity comes to play in here. The denser things get, the more gravity they have. And there's this thing called, in the theory of relativity, the gravitational time dilation, which will say that the more gravity things have, the slower time be um, so there would be no time at the beginning before the Big Bang because everything would be so compacted that the gravitational pull it would have would be immense and therefore time would be near if not zero there would be no before because time is not yet been implemented Maybe they might say that the universe then existed, it just probably didn't have a lot of time. But let's look at it this way, when the universe was smashed into a tiny little ball, it was a single point. A single point. Meaning, it's a possibility that it 
could have been a point, and a point has no dimension. It has no x, y, or z axis because it's a single point. Therefore, it had no dimensions. If you have a line, that's one dimension. So therefore, you'd have no dimensions also considering that time is a dimension. And that's pretty much to say that there was nothing. I mean, there was sort of something, but it didn't have time or dimension. Therefore, it wasn't really the universe as we know it because it didn't really have things. Now, what created that little thing that boomed into a big bang is irrelevant. And we don't have to worry about what created the thing before that or before that or before that because those the concept before is dependent on time, which you've already established didn't exist when the universe was a tiny little ass thing. And having said that, I suppose you could assume that to say that I would be saying there was no beginning, but in the context of time and the universe actually being something other than a condensed ball of stuff, then I'd say there there was a beginning, as in uh, when things started happening. That was the beginning, because when the universe was in a still state, nothing was really going on, so it hadn't really begun. So if everything always was and there was no beginning, then we'd have to assume there was no Big Bang. But we know there was a Big Bang. And the reason we know that is because of the red shift theory, which is where the red spectrum of light shifts the farther away you are from the source. And that is how we know that the universe is expanding. And not only is it just expanding, but it's going faster and faster and faster, which sort of seems to uh, destroy the theory that the universe goes like this and creates another universe. The multi-universe theory is, of course, being the thing that would say that there was no beginning and that time just keeps going forever this way and that way. But these things are in spite of the theory of relativity, aren't they? Now the main thing about the multiple universe theory is this. We have no proof that other universes exist and it is a theory that has extremely little or no evidence at this point in time so therefore, that theory that there is multiple universes is just as religious as believing that there was a creator. <laughs> and that would be downright silly, wouldn't it, Billy? So then we could probably safely assume that there's only this one universe, and it had a beginning. And having a beginning, we could suppose it had a creator. I also like to point out that my theory assumes very, very little information that can't be confirmed at this time. And based on everything we know, my theory is completely sound. Well, the multiple universe theory hasn't and will probably forever fail to confirm the existence of other universes. In fact, that theory hit a major stopping block when scientists realized the universe was expanding and it was doing so at a faster rate and not slowing down in any form anyway as it had been before. Major proponents of the multiple universe theory including Stephen Hawking are well aware of this and will admit that this is a major problem which they are having to overcome in order to prove that their theories are correct and they realize that they may in fact very well be wrong because of this new information. This means that the most reasonable scientific theory which people seem to think is a counter theory to God has actually been proven to be probably false. So who's the one that believes in fairy tales now? So, to which religion does this proposed creator conform? I would say the answer is all of them. Or none of them. It sucks to be you.